Hi, welcome to Scrap and Rabbit. This is Christine. Today I took a break from the scrapbooking and instead I wanted to try my hand at mixed media. And this is the little book that I made using mixed media techniques. I saw a lot of beautiful videos on YouTube with um, tutorials on how to to make some of these journals. I didn't follow exactly the procedures. I used the materials that I already had in stock because a lot of it I didn't have so I just ended up winging it. But um, I'm going to write down the names of two ladies who do beautiful mixed media work in the description of this video and you can go check them out. So this is a journal. I think it's a hundred pages. A little notebook. And I lined the inside. And to work on this, I removed the covers so that I wouldn't get the pages dirty. And this is what I ended up with. I have a title. It reads, LOL, Explore, Dream, and Discover. And on it, I started off by using gesso here on the covers and then I covered them with a little bit of little bits of lace. I don't know if you can see that. Just a little bit of lace. And then I used a beehive pattern and some of this modeling paste. And I've got that on the album. It might be hard to see on the video. It might be easier in the back. Here it is. You can probably see that design. I've got some beehive pattern on there. And then I put this chipboard key and I made that with the Sizzix die. And the same thing on the back. This part comes from the Sizzix die and I put a little flower and leaf in the middle. Now I was going to spritz the album with some glitter sprays and I had these guys but the bottles are are all gummed up inside and I just couldn't get the stuff out. I had this bottle of Delta Color Mist. I was able to use that one. That's in a teal. So that's a teal color. But I couldn't use the other pink and the green. And what I ended up doing was just using some ink and a dauber. Whoops. So I had this box of ink and I used um, just a makeup sponge and I dot the color around and I find that it worked just as well as using the spray mist. Then I had this clock die cut which is this one here by Sizzix and I painted this in a bronzy color and I just used some Mod Podge and mixed some of this um, Pearlex. I think it's Pearlex. Yeah, Pearlex powder. And I got this little shimmer on here. And then I cut my little titles. I inked around the edges. I put a little bit of ink on the ends of a border. And I've got a bit of bling here. I made these little flowers with the pearl and bling center. And I've got a little bit of bling going out there. A little chipboard heart that I had in my stash. And these letters I also had in my chipboard stash. Then I have these three little buttons. And again I add, apply some gesso. And then I used this color of ink and I just stabbed it on. And on the back I've got a feather at the very bottom here and I gessoed over it and then I inked on it and then I wanted another one where I could feel the texture more so I just attached this feather here and put some ink on there another little flower bead center and a little bit of pearl strand and then this flower here with a little crystal center leaves and these are just the heads of two brads that I cut and I just attached on there so that's my little journal. It was really a lot of fun to do and I think I'm going to try making some more of these in different sizes. It's a great way to use up the bits that you have in your stash that uh, left over from some other projects. Anyways, uh, like I said, I'll include the names of those two ladies who have these wonderful videos and tutorials on how to make these journals. Have a nice day.